Good day! I am Nikki Paula Bicomong Dahenyas and today I will show you my teaching demonstration. The subject that I'm going to teach is Dress Making 7 and the topic is Sewing Tools and Equipment. Kindly all stand. Precious, lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class! How are you today? That's great! I am glad to hear that. What makes you happy today? Very good! Before you take your seat, kindly pick out all the mess around and throw it to the trash can. Okay? So I will just check your attendance. Mm, no one is absent. Very good class. Keep it up. Before we proceed to our next topic, let us have a short review. Who among you still remember what we discussed last meeting? Yes, Julia. Very good. What do you mean by the word family? Yes, Joshua. Exactly! It is the basic unit of the society. Now, can you give me an example of role of the mother? Nicole? Very good! How about the father? Mirna? Okay, very good class. Good job. I'm glad that you're studying well. Let's move on to the next topic. Are you excited to know what is our lesson for today? Very good, class! Class, before we start our lesson, let's have a short game entitled, Four Picks, One Word. Are you familiar with that game, class? Uh, four pictures and one word, each level displays a four pictures linked by one word. The player aims is to work out what the word is from a set of letters given below the pictures. The mechanics of the game is I will group the class into two teams. Each team will select their leader and be responsible to write the answer on the board. Is that clear, class? Nice. Okay, let's start the game. Can you guess the word about the four pictures? Very good, group one. You get the correct answer. The next picture. Oh, very good, group two. You got the correct answer. To break the tie, this is the last one. Congratulations, group two, for winning our game for today. Very good. Good job. Based in our activity, what do you think our topic is all about? Exactly! But before we proceed to the different tools and equipment, let us discuss first the sewing. What do you mean by sewing? Anyone who wants to define what is sewing? Yes, Amber. Very good! Here is your prize. This is alcopen, alcohol and pen. You can use it to write and alcohol to disinfect your skin. Okay. This is good. What else? Who wants an alcopen, a prize? Yes, Rick. Very good. Here is your prize. In sewing, we have different tools and equipment. Sewing tools and equipment are used in garment construction. The skillful use of the different sewing equipment will help take body measurement and drafting pattern with accuracy and speed. This lesson will provide skills and knowledge of the different tools and equipment which are necessary in sewing. 
A complete set of sewing tools and equipment are presented to help the students work faster. Let us start with the measuring tool. Let us have first the tape measure. What did you observe in the tape measure? Yes, there's a number. Very good. Why do you think it is included in measuring tools in sewing? Very good. Did you know how to use the tape measure? Good job. A tape measure, a flexible measuring device used in taking body measurements. What have you noticed in this picture? Exactly! Sewing gauge, it is a small ruler with sliding guides and it's about 6 inches long. This gauge is used for measurements at hem lines, button holes, and areas where other small measurements require checking, such as plates and tacks. This gauge is usually made of metal or plastic. Let us have the ruler. Can you describe this object? Very good. I know all of you are already experienced to use a ruler. Am I right? Why did you use a ruler? Yes, Joshua. Good idea. What else? Victoria. What else, Victoria? Very good. What is the purpose of it in sewing? Exactly. It is also used to mark the fabrics. Next, we have yardstick. It is used for marking hemlines and checking grain lines when laying out the pattern. Okay? Good job. What have you noticed in this picture? Yes, it's like a letter L. The L square is used to transfer measurements to the draft pattern. It also divides the garment into the desired measurement. It has perfect square and it is useful in making straight lines and numbers. It can also function as a tape measure. And the last is French curve. On what part of your cloth you will find the curve shape? Exactly in the neck and in the armhole, meaning this is used to shape the depth of the neck hole and the armhole of the pattern. Is that clear, class? Very good. Good job. After the measuring tools, we have cutting tools. Cutting tools are instruments that serve well if properly maintained. Sharp cutting tools make clean cuts and will define notches and they do not damage fabric. Sewing cutting tools should not be used for other household tasks. Cutting tools must be sharpened regularly in the joints. First, we have bent handle dressmaker shears. These are made of quality steel and hold a sharp cutting edge. The blades move easily and cut smoothly along the entire length and the points should come together. Shears have the length of 7 to 12 inches and are satisfactory for most apparel fabrics. Next, we have pinking shears. This is popular in zigzagging or scallop edge or for seam finishes. This is used to finish seams and raw edges. We have three kinds of cutting scissors. Letter A is trimming scissor. It is a 3 to 4 inches long. It is used for trimmings, clipping threads, and snipping slashes. Next, we have embroidery scissor. It has 4 to 5 inches finely tapered blades. Both points are sharp for use in working with the fine details in delicate fabrics. And last, letter C, buttonhole scissor. This is intended for making, right, buttonholes. Is that clear, class? Very good. Thread clippers 
are a handy little spring-loaded cutting tool that allows for the snipping of threads. These clippers are specifically used to snip threads and they are not designed to cut fabric. Seam Reaper are specifically designed for ripping out stitches from seam, either as a result of an error or during alteration. They should be used carefully to prevent damage to the fabric. And last, for the cutting tools, we have Rotary Cutter and Mat. It is an adaption of the giant rotary cutter used by the garment industry. It works like a pizza cutter and can be used by left or right-handed sewers. The rotary cutter is available in different sizes, with different blades. When using a rotary cutter, work on a cutting mat to protect the blade and the cutting surface, okay class? Is that clear? Very good! Marking tools are required for transferring pattern markings to garment fabric and for making alterations on garments. Chalk pencils or dressmaker's pencil. This is available in white or pastel shapes. This chalk pencil is used to make fine lines on fabric. It has an erasing brush at one end. Liquid marking pen. Liquid marking pens comes in two types. There is one that washes out and one that fades after 48 hours. Those that wash out should not be used in on fabric that show watermarks. The mark should be removed before pressing the fabric. Tailor's chalk. This is essential as a marker for use on materials. Tailor's chalk is available in a range of colors and is removed by brushing. Wax chalk. This is available in black or white and it is used for woolen fabrics. Wax can be removed by pressing. Tracing wheel. There are two types of tracing wheel. Those with a serrated edge and those with a smooth edge. The serrated edge will produce dots on the fabric and it is suitable for most types of fabric. The smooth edge wheel is best for delicate fabrics, unlike the serrated edge will not pierce more delicate fabrics. Dressmaker's Carbon Paper, also called as Dressmaker's Tracing Paper, is a specially waxed carbon paper that transfer the tracing wheel's markings to the fabric. A color of tracing paper should be chosen that is close to the color of the fabric. Different brands of tracing paper have different instructions. Therefore, the instructions for the particular brand that is purchased should be followed. Okay? Very good. Pinning and sewing tool. First, we have pin cushion. A pin cushion holds the straight pins and needles while working to prevent accidents. Needle. Used in making temporary stitches and buttonholes. Sewing needle threader. It aids in putting the thread to the needle. It consists of two parts, the handle and the wire. The end of the wire that is away from the holder is folded. Place the folded wire of the needle threader through the eye of the sewing needle. And that's it. Thimble. A small hard pitted cup worn for protection on the finger that pushes the needle in sewing. And we have materials the fabric and the thread the fabric is the cloth used in making garments the plain cotton fabrics floor sack or katcha is the most appropriate material for beginners because these are very easy to handle the thread is used in assembling or constructing the parts of the garment threads vary in sizes heavy fabrics need stronger threads Thread should be the same color with the fabric used. And last, we have the equipment, the sewing machine. A machine with a mechanically driven needle for sewing or stitching clothes. Now that you know the different tools and equipment, let us have a short quiz. Go to your Google Classroom and click the link, then answer the following questions. 
We are using quizzes.com. And for our last activity, this is what we call Minute to Minute! Okay, are you excited? Nice, nice, nice. I prepared three stations. We will call station number one as Hanapin Mo Ako. In this station, you are going to find the different tools and equipment. After that, you may proceed to the second station which is Isuot Mo Ako. In this station, there is one needle and one thread. You are going to insert the thread in the needle. Then in the last station, which is Gamitin Mo Ako, there are five different tools and equipment and the naked mannequin. What you are going to do is to use all the tools and equipment to create a clothes made from fabric for the naked mannequin. Is that clear? Very good. Good luck everyone. With a total of 20 points, you have only 10 minutes to do that. Let's go. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Here is the rubric. Congratulations. Job well done. I'm proud of the way you've worked today. That's the best you've ever done. Great job. And for your assignment class, make a tutorial video on how to use the sewing tools and equipments that we discussed. Every group consists of three members. Upload it on your YouTube channel or send it to me on my email account, dohenyasnikipaula at gmail.com. And that will be submitted on February 22, 2021. That is my birthday. Good luck and God bless you all. I hope you learned something.